What's up guys, this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal back for the 139th episode continuing our series on stainless steels. This video is focused on the most commercially popular of the austenitic types or grades, the 300 series of alloys. What are the 300 series alloys? Well, in this case, we're just going to talk about 303, 304, 316, and 317, plus most of their variants. But there are more grades. However, for today, that's what's on the docket, 300 series. Let's do it. From our introduction to stainless steel video last week, you know chromium is primarily what makes these stainless steels corrosion resistant. Other elements also affect properties of the commercial standard alloys. In addition to the three digits in the alloy designation, there may be a suffix that indicates a modification of the basic alloy. A suffix of L indicates a low carbon version of the grade. A suffix of F indicates a free machining modification. S, sulfur. SE, selenium. Whenever we mention a percentage in the chemistry of an alloy, we mean percent by weight. So in an 18% chromium alloy, there would be 18 pounds of chromium in 100 pounds of the alloy. When chromium is added to iron, it tends to stabilize a ferritic structure. Molybdenum is also a ferrite stabilizing element. Nickel and manganese act to stabilize an austenitic structure and are present in various proportions in all the common austenitic types. Other elements present promote either austenite or ferrite in the metallurgical structure. In this family of standard grades, type 304 is the most popular of the 18.8 grades. Do you remember what the 18.8 stands for? Mm, in case you don't, I'll tell you. 18% nominal chromium. And 8% nominal nickel. 18.8, easy, okay? General corrosion performance is very good. The low carbon 304L grade is recommended for applications involving welding or heat cycles above 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Type 303, or sometimes shown as 303S, has a 0.15 min sulfur added, which aids in the machining characteristics, but with some loss of corrosion performance. 303SE substitutes selenium for sulfur to achieve the improved machining with less impact on some other properties but is much less commonly used and much more costly. And just in case you ever needed to pick up any 303SE, I know a guy. This guy. Shh. Moving on, type 316 has 2 to 3% molybdenum, which raises the corrosion performance, particularly in chloride environments. Nickel content is increased to keep the austenitic structure. 317 has yet higher chromium, nickel, and 3 to 4% molybdenum for another step higher in corrosion performance. And 317L would be for the welding applications. Specifications and part requirements can alter what we have shown you here today. So for the 139th time, we will remind you to check the specs. All right, this is Michael, Michael Talks Metal. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mission Metals is a full service value added distributor and supplier of all things related to and contained in the Austinitic 300 series stainless steels. Check the website for more info. Still here and haven't subscribed? Don't know how that could be. Please help consider supporting the channel. Missed last week's video? There it is. Thanks for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you next Thursday, 10 a.m. YouTube, same time, same place, I am.